Hello and welcome. This is Donna from Donna Morgan Creations. This is a little bit different video. I am unboxing this ginormous box. So the story is, I was posting some stuff about this upcoming journal series, The Creative Sisters, and doing a, um, a fashion journal about a, a girl who's going to go to fashion school. And um, Elaine uh, reached out for me from Antique, a textile shop. I have purchased from her before. She's in France. And if you're not familiar, she is uh, someone who has been collecting all of her life. She's extremely knowledgeable about the history of textiles and wallpapers. And just she is such a joy to communicate with and to purchase from and her love for all of these things that we all love is absolutely contagious. It's just fabulous. And then lately this lovely, wonderful young man, um, um, Mimzu, this is his Instagram and uh, he has a wonderful channel on YouTube where he basically takes you around and shows you all these beautiful antique shops in France. And he's done several videos at um, Elaine's shop. And it's really great to uh, listen to them converse. And even though I can't understand much because it's in French, but still, I, you know, I, I love watching them. And he is just so charming. And it's, um, you know, it's just... A little slice of vacation for me so uh, I'm just gonna throw show throw I'm not gonna throw anything I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff that she packed and what she did was she said okay well I know you're making these uh, swatch things for this upcoming fashion journal let me throw a box together for you and that feels like Christmas to me so that's what she did. She threw a box together for me, and I'm hoping you see how huge this box is. Oh, I'll try not to make too much noise, but it starts with just, uh, it, it, it's, it's jam packed full. And not only did she just go throw it together for me, but it was here in 10 days. So this is absolutely full of just incredible. Incredible. Here, I'm going to do this. Sorry, guys. Beautiful. I have to have my camera really up high and in a different location just to do this. So as you can see, I mean, seriously. Oh, and if you could feel these papers, I really wish you could. I mean, now I've heard about this and some of you will know what this actually is called, where you write in uh, both directions and to say paper, maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you do, please, please message me and let me know. Uh, I just love it. And <laughs> I think she, she called. These are die catchers. And I learned that from uh, a class that I taught. And one of the wonderful quilt designers and uh, quilters um, gave us a whole bunch of these. And I, they're great to use in journals, by the way. I love them. But are you kidding me with all this? Just, I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go through it all. This is just part of the paper um, ephemera and the documents and the seals and the, the rag paper just feels so incredible. I mean, look at these documents. So it's truly, uh, there's a plethora of stuff here, let me tell you. Um, just stunning, stunning, stunning. Menu cards, um, just amazing things. And, oh, is that perfect for the journal that I'm doing? It's absolutely perfect. Hand-drawn on tissue. And she also included these wonderful things. Oh, my goodness, wait till you see this. Okay. Hello. Isn't that fabulous? And I am including men's fashion in these journals. This, yes. 
this. Um, oh, let's see, I digress here. Okay, I'm just so excited. Just amazing things in all of these booklets and just wonderful um, old catalogs and oh, so that's the paper. Oh, oh, this is really super cool. Check this out. Somebody drew on these book pages. Are you seeing this document? Incredible. How wonderful is this? 1870 is the date. Just, I'm blown away. I really am. I don't even know what to say. Um, these are the, oh, this is so cool. I can't control myself. Apparently, I'm extremely excited about this. So, if there's shadows, I apologize. It's really hard to um, film in here. This is a sample book that went to hotels and it would have the linen samples. I have no idea where she found this, but it is truly incredible. And I haven't found a date yet, but just a little flip through. Oh, there's a sample of the towels. <laughs> Look, the images are just so wonderful. Oh my goodness, and the prices, $4. So, yeah, that, I, I, just like I said, I'm just shocked. I'm blown away. So, oh, and then here's this one, too. These two. Oh, with a shirting. That's definitely going in. And these are just snips. And I said, I just, sometimes I just need a piece of a wall, you know, a piece of wallpaper. And so she said she would just throw a, a little um, bag of things that were just like odds and ends that she can't use because she needs larger pieces or needs she needs the full run of the wallpaper. And I like snippets, and, but she did give me this big giant piece of this, which is stunning, feels like chalk. And then she had a bunch of these that like she said, she really can't use them. Um, because they're too small, but you know, you and I can. We definitely can use these little pieces of wallpaper, which are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, see, I dropped a piece of the linens. And then there were um, patterns. And Okay, I just don't even know how to show you this, but this is, oh here, we'll go laces. Can you see those? Laces and trims, uh, unbelievable. Laces and trims and little pieces that I absolutely adore. I mean, you can imagine that on a page or um, on a tag. I mean, stuff that, oh, and, and just incredible. That was a sleeve. Just gonna start tossing stuff out of here. Oh, aren't these great? Wouldn't they be great? Is um, on a bookmark as a dangle over the journals. A lot of people like to do those. On these gorgeous little pieces, just beautiful embroidered trims. And then we get to unbelievable, right? And some of them still have the labels on them. I just, I just can't believe this. I, I don't think I ever need a piece of fabric ever again in my life, but that will not stop me from purchasing them. I'm just saying, oh, can you believe this? Just, I'm so happy, I'm so thrilled. This was my birthday present from my husband, a late birthday present. Well, I had to put it that way, you know what I mean. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff and uh, more linens. Oh, and these wonderful um, old shirting uh, linens or 
cottons and linens and here we go. Here's some more great shirting. These are going to be fabulous. Absolutely. A blouse. Can you imagine a blouse? Now? These are going to be fabulous. Oh, this came off a sample card. There's more ribbon. And then we get to swatches. And she had all of these swatch fabrics. And there's, uh, there's brocade. There is, there's embroidery ones. And look at these. Oh. That is stunning. I'm not even halfway through this box, but I just I just want to flip through real quick so you can see. You could do so many things with these. I mean, they're they're little, but you can cut them up and use them for tabs or, like, I'm going to be using them for swatch cards. Let's see what pile do we want to go to next. Okay, so let's look at um, more of these where they might have been pieces of curtains or fabrics for dresses or quilt. I see a lot of things that would be uh, like for a farm journal or maybe a quilt. And then you have these beautiful pieces, even little cutout pieces like that. And then you have beautiful pieces like this, which is stunning. And then there actually are quilt pieces. more of these lovely little things. And then we get into more of cottons. This I adore. I love this. Look at the edges on this. It's very regal. Um, more Almost looks like swatches. Yeah, more swatches. Crazy fabrics. <laughs> oh, and here we have more of those crazy fabrics. They're wonderful. Look at the florals and the bright colors. And, oh, I mean, this just is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. It lends itself to so many creative things. And, I mean, look at how precious that is. Probably was some sort of a dress, something like that. More of these wonderful masculine fabrics that I'll be able to use. Um, little quilted pieces. Look how tiny that quilting is. You think I'm done, but I'm not. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then check this out. That is so fun. It's corduroys. It's corduroy samples. At first I thought it was velvet. It is actually a velvet. You know what, it's not corduroy. It is velvet. And this is, you know, things like this happen with, I just wanna point out that <clears throat> this happens. I do have a lot of really old Victorian clothing uh, collection, not me. I've gotten rid of a lot of it, but anyways, but this does happen and they shred, but you can use them in journals. And so I would actually cut this out and use part of this. And I could even figure out how to use little snippets of this. But isn't it great that we can take something like this and still uh, find a use for it and recycle it. And that is really the joy of of working with textiles, whether you're sewing them or you're putting them in a artisan journal or, and, I mean, this is, this is incredible too. And then I get to things like this, which remind me of uh, flower sacks and this beautiful piece, which would have been a really gorgeous summer dress. And then look at this silk. This silk is just beautiful and it is a sample. A silk sample. And here we are again with these. Oh, why can't I think of the name of the textile? Um, if you know what it is, please let me know. 
it's a it's a beauty though can you imagine these all on uh journaling cards or something like that and then we have another silk which might have been part of a scarf but i absolutely adore all these little little pieces that are going to be so fun oh that is stunning and of course i love my roses my you know very shabby chic kind of thing and uh okay well we will stop with that thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and she made these beautiful cards for me thank you so much elaine and i uh, thank you everyone and definitely um um oh, check out mimzu's um channel i'll put that right there Sorry if I was awkward. <laughs> you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.